The first thing you did when entering this space was sitting down in your chair. As you can feel right now, sitting is a very comfortable position for your body. In our society, almost the entirety of our surroundings has been designed for sitting. That's exactly the reason why humans are addicted to sitting. We wanted to question this sitting society by making a vision on the office of the future. That's where this talk is about. And how does an average day of the sitting society look like? We go by car to our work or any co-working space for eight hours a day at an office, then drive back home sitting, and at home sitting at the couch behind the screen or the television. My kids already learn at school that standing is a punishment. <laughs> They have to sit the entire day, and it seems that it's not going to change that much the coming decade. We made a vision for the office of the future where the table and the chair are no longer the unquestionable starting points. So we start from scratch with a new working environment. And we, in this case, is Studio Raaf and visual artist Barbara Visser. And what do if you don't have any tables and chairs anymore? You have to reinvent the complete environment, starting from scratch. And that's what we did. And this is truly new, because even if I walk through the so-called futuristic office designs of famous companies anywhere around the world, or any co-working space, The table and the chair are always the starting point of the designs. We believe if you want to create a vision on the future, you have to know the past. And that's where our research started. You could say that the first idea of the office started in the officium. In Roman times, well-educated people offered services, such as writing. A big step in history is this moment, uh, where we see a printing house in the Renaissance, all kinds of different working positions, and these people are actually continuously active during the day. So this is a completely different environment than, for example, uh, the 20th century, where the office was actually reduced to chairs and desks. And, of course, there has been fantastic criticism, like Jacques Tati with his movie Playtime, commenting on these cubicles and the way we work. The cubicles may be gone, but the chair and the desk are still the starting point of every design. In history, we have had famous standing workers. For example, Winston Churchill and Virginia Woolf. And I would like to make one remark. Although standing is much better than sitting, it's about changing positions during the day. That is where all movement scientists are convinced of. So, Churchill is standing in one position, and we wanted to create a complete new environment that invites shifting during the day, and that's where this is about. So, what do you do if an environment doesn't exist yet? You have to start from scratch, and that's what we did. We just started experimenting in the studio with simple ingredients. We are searching for supported standing working positions. So, if you want to avoid these adverse health effects of sitting, you have to keep pressure on your legs during the day. And this was true fun, of course, and it felt also sometimes like being on the road to nowhere. <laughs> But in the end, we collected a great um, scala of different working positions that made actually the base for this new working landscape. <laughs> Keeping pressure on your legs. So please sit back in your comfortable chair for one and a half minutes and watch this animation. It's without sound.
So this was the first idea for the vision of the Office of the Future. But we weren't satisfied yet. We wanted to create it in, real, in reality. Because if you want to, to change a social cultural practice, we thought we should build it in reality and make it accessible for the public. So that's what we did. We found a place in Amsterdam, a beautiful location, an old factory, to make this Office of the Future. And we started the second trial phase. So we wanted to fine-tune the standing working positions, the supported standing working positions. For example, my feet are supported, and um, this is ab all about temporary comfort. So you can work here for one and a half hour, let's say, and then you move on to the other position. It invites shifting during the day. For example, 40 minutes, depending on your condition. And so you move on and on during the day. That's the idea. And in the end, we created a complete working environment from all these working positions. We assembled them into one new total installation, as we call it, or a totale installatie in Dutch, or a gesamtkunstwerk in German. It means that you create a complete new environment instead of adding new objects to the existing environment. Almost an impossible job to get this done, to build this in reality, because it's giant. This is just a very small piece. But we managed this, and now I would like to guide you through the office of the future in reality. So we are entering, and there is complete silence. And what we see here is this total installation. So in the morning when we enter, there is silence, and it has to be discovered. You have to find your own favorite position, depending on the length of your body, depending on what, you, what kind of work you're going to do that day. On the left-hand side, we see a small meeting. On the right-hand side, we see a guy standing in the rock, in a cave underneath. Every office needs a good cave, of course. <laughs> so, places for concentration, small meeting places, all kinds of different situations, and all kinds of different supported working positions. You have to discover them yourself being supported in the front, being supported in the back. And, of course, this whole working landscape is suitable for all kinds of mobile devices. And if we see this girl on the right-hand side, she's standing there, and for her this position is really comfortable because she's standing at exactly the good position. If she moves just three meters ahead, it doesn't work anymore. So, the end of sitting for us started as an idea, as a vision, and it became a real-life thinking model about the future of our daily environment. Try to imagine what this installation and this vision can mean for our daily environment and in our daily public spaces, such as airports, train stations, uh, libraries, schools, and even public transport. So, for us, the end of sitting is not the end, but the beginning. Thank you.